CW Drums is a manufacturer of drums and related hardware, and machining is central to the branding of one of their newest products. This is the MDD, the Machined Direct Drive Pedal. Rich Sikra is the director of production for DW Drums. Rich used to be a machine shop owner. His shop was acquired by the company for the machining capacity and for the machining expertise. So Rich, why was it so valuable to include machining in the name of this product? Well, this is the first pedal we actually machined out of billet. We've done a bunch of castings in the past but we really wanted to show off what we have the ability to do in-house. It wasn't just showing off, was it? There are some real design improvements you were able to get by machining. In the past, you had to either take the pedal off the drum, have both hands there, hold the spring, tighten the nut, loosen the other nut, and then lock it into place. This is a drum key, and I wanted to come up with a way to use the drum key to tighten or loosen the spring. And machining enabled you to do that because I'm looking at an assembly here that you couldn't produce with casting. That's right. With a casting, the part would have had to be four times that big. So machining lets you realize some real design improvements, but once you got manufacturing in-house because of machining, you started to achieve some cost savings too. You started to find opportunities for cost saving. I mean, talk about how cutting tools have changed. Well, with the cutting tools, I started looking at us just surfacing the material, taking off the you know, bulk amount of material at one time. And, you know, mostly using end mills and started looking into other tools to figure out better, faster ways to remove the material. Got into shell cutters, got into insertable shell cutters. Amazing how it cut my time down. Shell mill cutters remove material faster, but talk about the change that you made that reduced the amount of material you have to start with. Well, one of the things that has changed big time for us is when we went from the casting to a solid piece, obviously you're going to have to machine a little bit more. So we started to ask the question, you know, what's in between there? What can we do to be able to machine it in-house, yet keep the cost reasonably priced? So we started looking at extrusions. Going with the extrusions, extrusions instead of solid billet, this will give us part of the shape we need. I mean, this particular part, by extruding this, we eliminate all of the cutting on the perimeter of it. So you can see one of the final products there in your hand. Um, so we lose the radiuses here. They're already in the shape of the tooling for the extrusion. A good part of the center here is already removed. So we don't have to take that out. It just leaves us a little bit of material just to clean it up. We're able to get it cut. I have to cut build anyway. So I'm not taking much more time to cut it. Again, I don't have to touch the exterior of the part. We have a hole that's already roughed out there. So we're basically you know, eliminating a good portion of the roughing on this. What is the challenge of using extrusions? The, the challenge on this sometimes is holding it. Extrusions and the extrusion industry, the tolerances are, are kind of wide open. To tighten those up as much as you can, obviously the price goes up. So what we did on this one, we found there was some e uneven surfaces on it. So we actually had to change our programming a little bit to follow that curvature a little bit so it's not noticeable with your naked eye. So that was one challenge of using the extrusion. The other is actually holding the part. So if it's not a totally flat surface that you're holding against, that can offer some challenges. So let me try to tie this up. In-house machining, it's, it's bragging rights. Uh, it's in the branding of the machine direct drive pedal. It allows you to make a design improvement that casting would not have allowed. And once you got manufacturing in-house through machining, you started making tweaks that saved you cost. Uh, tooling improved, and uh, you switched to extrusions. Probably one of the bigger challenges, and one we hope to solve soon, is the capacity issue. You know, we started out with this small project, and it's grown. Orders are coming in. It seems to be taking off very well. We're designing another product for the same line. Once that's done, that'll be more a worse capacity issue, so we hopefully have more orders for that. So fortunately, I have some friends and some trusted vendors locally. I have three shops that are actually making parts for us. Gradually, we're bringing some of those parts in-house. 
As we get more machinery, as we get more employees, we can keep doing that and eventually have everything in-house here. So my hope is to have a few more new machines, some really nice high-end CNC machining centers. I'll talk to my CEO right now, right? And they would be He's awesome. He's watching this. I know, I know. It's, uh, so get those in and we can make all these parts ourselves. So that's ultimately the goal.